kids dealing with marijuana. Hey, Jackie, got some really good grass. Do you like getting high? Sure, let's go down to the schoolyard. There's no one there now. I don't think I like the idea of going there. We might get caught. What's going to bother us? Nobody cares about grass anymore. Looks like those kids are smoking grass. Oh, man, the cops! Dump the grass, quick! You have the right to remain silent. Why are you doing this? I'm not a criminal. You are now, kid. Mr. Robbins, this is Officer Strang at the 47th Precinct. We have your daughter here. She was just picked up for possession of narcotics. You people must have made a mistake. My daughter doesn't take drugs. You're not going to lock me up, are you? Please don't. What are my parents going to say? They probably said, where did we go wrong? But Jackie's parents didn't do anything wrong. She comes from a good home. She's bright, popular, and basically very honest. But Jackie is one of millions of American teenagers who use marijuana. And she had the mistaken notion that the use of this drug is so common that the police no longer care. Jackie found out the hard way that she was wrong. Buying, selling, Using or possessing marijuana is illegal, and offenders are liable to arrest. It's true that marijuana laws have relaxed somewhat. Many states have lowered the penalty from a jail sentence to a fine or a period of probation. One of the reasons for this is that many people are fighting to have marijuana legalized. They claim that it does no real harm, and that its users should not be made to go through life with a criminal record. Marijuana is the most controversial drug being used in America. Is it really a harmless, mildly intoxicating substance? Or is it a serious threat to the mental and physical well-being of America's young people? Medical scientists still don't have all the answers. Because marijuana did not become popular in America until the 60s, its long-term effects cannot be analyzed until it has been used for a much longer period. This includes the effects it has on the male gonads, that is, male sperm count. Many marijuana users are respectable, middle-class adults with good jobs and stable home lives. But most of the estimated 25 million Americans who have used the drug have been under 30. Once popular mainly in colleges, marijuana is now widely used and freely available in almost every high school. Its use among students in elementary schools is increasing rapidly. There's a good chance you will meet someone in your school who uses marijuana, and that you will be asked to use it. Before you make this decision, you should know the facts about the drug. Marijuana belongs to the same class of drugs as LSD. These drugs produce hallucinations, a disorder of the mind and senses that causes the user to see, hear, feel, smell, or taste things that aren't there. The drug looks something like tobacco, ranging in color from grayish green to greenish brown. This mixture is known by many names, pot, grass, weed, stuff, hay, tea, or Mary Jane. The most popular method of using marijuana is to roll it into cigarettes and smoke it. Marijuana cigarettes are referred to as joints, reefers, or sticks. The effects felt by individual users often vary according to their personalities and emotional states, and the amount and strength of the drug being used. The effects are almost immediate, because the drug passes from the lungs directly into the blood, and from there to the brain. A few minutes after the first puff, the smoker's eyes begin to look red and bloodshot. His heart often beats faster, and pulse rate and blood pressure increase. Body temperature drops. The user may feel hunger or a craving for sweets. But the reason people smoke marijuana is for its emotional effect, the feeling of being high. The user almost immediately begins to feel relaxed, content, peaceful. Cares and worries seem to disappear. A few more puffs, 
and the smoker may become very happy, talkative, giddy. He may start giggling and be unable to stop. Inhibitions disappear, and the user may do silly, even dangerous things. These users are now high or stoned and may begin to have mild hallucinations. Colors may seem brighter, music may sound clearer, walls may look wavy and appear to be moving. All of the senses may become distorted. Time may seem to pass very slowly. The person may have the feeling of being separated from his own body. A whisper may sound like a shout. A table may feel as though it had a coat of fur. Close things may look very far away. These are all mild hallucinations, and the user realizes they have been brought on by the drug. The effects of marijuana usually wear off in several hours, and the smoker feels normal once again. Unlike heroin, morphine, and other narcotics, marijuana is not believed to be physically addictive. As far as we know at this time, marijuana does not produce lasting effects in the body. This is a major argument of those who feel the drug should be legalized. These people often compare marijuana to alcohol and tobacco, both of which, they say, are more dangerous, yet both of which are legal. Tobacco, they argue, has been proven to cause injury to the heart and lungs. It has also been linked to cancer, and the abuse of alcohol frequently leads to addiction and is responsible for many acts of violence and other social problems. But those who believe marijuana to be dangerous have answers to these arguments. Tobacco may be smoked while a person is going about his daily routine. It does not intoxicate him, lessen his inhibitions, cause hallucinations, keep him from functioning normally, or make him a dangerous driver. Many people who drink alcohol socially are not trying to become intoxicated. Those who use marijuana are. And while too much alcohol generally results in a drunken stupor, too much marijuana can cause hyperactivity and dangerous behavior. One of the greatest dangers of marijuana is that many users drive while they are high, endangering themselves and other drivers. It's been proven that people who drive when they're stoned are more likely to have accidents than when they're not stoned. A person high on marijuana has poor perception of speed and distance. He may think he's going 30 miles an hour when he's really doing 80 and reacts too slowly in times of an emergency. Each year, thousands of automobile accidents are caused by persons driving under the influence of marijuana. Like alcohol and tobacco, marijuana use can lead to psychological dependence. A user may come to feel that he or she can't face everyday problems without the help of the drug. Many people believe that marijuana can lead to the use of a more dangerous drug, but this has never been proven. But most narcotics addicts do start out smoking pot. The reverse is not true. Everyone who smokes marijuana does not become a heavy drug addict. It's reasonable to assume, though, that marijuana users are more likely to try hard drugs than non-users, because smoking pot increases their curiosity about the effects of other drugs. Doctors do not consider marijuana a narcotic, but legal authorities do, unless and until the law is changed. Anyone caught using or possessing marijuana risks being arrested. Know the penalties for marijuana abuse in your community. Why do young people take marijuana in the first place? It might be due to pressure from their friends. They don't want to be ridiculed or thought of as different. Many kids who feel anger toward their parents or society in general use the drug as a way of protesting or rebelling. They know it's against the law, and this is one way of showing contempt for rules and regulations. Some kids deliberately try to get arrested for using pot 
just to get attention from their parents. Some simply use it the way many adults use alcohol, to help them relax, feel sociable, get a little high. Teenagers who are unhappy, lonely, or unable to deal with a particular problem may turn to marijuana as a crutch, a magic solution to all their troubles. Maybe you will decide to try it. If you do, you may not like the effects which it produces. You may not enjoy pot at all. Don't be afraid to say so. And if you decide not to try it, stick with your decision. There's nothing cool about allowing people to make you do something you don't want to. Your friends may respect you more for sticking to your guns. Someone may offer you marijuana without telling you what it is. Be suspicious of any hand-rolled cigarette. Remember that marijuana, when burned, has a pungent sweet odor that is very different from ordinary tobacco. If you do try marijuana, either accidentally or deliberately, you can either stop after one experience, or you may go on using the drug. The choice is yours. Make it wisely. Oh, my God.